Now, here in the final of Last Man Standing Ladies and gentlemen, final fight of the evening. Only and only if two fighters agree to fight with elbows, it will be with elbows. So in the blue corner, Nathan Carnage scored with well, one. Carnage will say yes. Elbows. Elbows. Cedric would in be wise to say no. Oh, yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. In the that. red corner, Cedric wants. No elbows. Elbows! Wow. Let's get it on! Cedric says elbows. Oh, oh, I don't no. know. Elbows You're going up against these. the best elbow oh, technician no. in the world. Why, man? Why? You said nugget. They know they don't, need nug uh, they don't need elbows. Right now, the best chance he's got is with boxing and landing a punch. He's going to get dominated with the leg kicks. He's going to get his legs hurt. And now he's got the best weapons available for... And now when he gets into punching range, close where he likes to be, he's going to find the elbows slicing and dicing and trying to fill yeah. in. The time for talk is over. The final of Last Man Standing 2, Michael Chevello. Stand the man long and he's with you. Kongeka, the man with two lives, in the blue train. Corbett, the outright favourite. There's an the elbow black. already. I don't want to see... I don't want to see Cedric get cut open, you know, like profusely bleeding with something that really was not necessary for him to do. It's something that didn't have to be. It is all a moot point now. It's in the history books. We do have elbows. Outside thigh kick from Carnage. Cedric has to get into boxing range. Trying to keep Carnage at bay with a front kick. Carnage drops the right hand, lowers the boom. There's a downward elbow trying to open up the money box to the top of the head. Cedric, who does fight with elbows in Queensland, but once again, nowhere near the experience with elbows of Carnage. Yeah. I reckon Carnage's corner could not believe, he, he, you know, believe their ears when they heard it. I agree with you, Stan. You hear the corner, Nugget saying, let's throw some knees, Cedric, while you're on the inside. Don't hit the uppercut elbows like that. Carnage just closing him down, cutting off the ring here. Cedric's got to pull the trigger with that overhand right. Tarek, we're surprised Cedric said yes to Elbow. Mate, this is why it's called the last man standing, the tough man survives. And Cedric has got no injuries and is a tough man. Not a but smart is he a man. Sm exactly. Is he a smart man? It's well, we will see. What if he catches Cor Corbett with one of these uh, yeah, but he bombers? Can, yeah, that's all he's got. At the moment, though, it is Nathan Corbett completely dictating the pace here in the first round. Nice little verbal spar here between Stan and Tarek as Corbett throws a crossing right elbow. Left hook outside, Taiki from Cedric Kongeka. Corbett again trying to slice up the orbital bone. Kongeka glances towards Nugget. Nugget says, throw the overhand right. He's cutting open, I'm telling you now. I saw blood come off the elbow after that. I can't see from this angle. Stan, the man who was the first ever Australian heavyweight to win a world Muay Thai title. He won it in Thailand against Kirkwood Walker. There's the cut. What I say to you? If this ends in elbows, it will be a cut from an elbow. be devastating. We'll see the opposite opposite profile of Cedric. It's over the eye. That's in a bad position. This would be terrible if they stopped it here. No, Cedric's not that uh, that easy to just stop, mate. He will. He's a tough man, and he will, I'm sure he will t fight it through. You, know, you don't want permanent scars here. Carnage, the best elbow artist in the world. And look at the angles. Look at the footwork, the lateral movement. He's oozing confidence right now. You know he's oozing confidence when he actually drifts the way of the power hand of Cedric. He's not respecting Cedric's right hand at all. He's got to watch that left hook. Really it. He's got to watch that left hook. Yeah. I'm telling you. Cedric did hurt his first opponent with that left hook. All, all Nathan Corbett's got to watch is the left hook. Whereas Cedric's going to look out for elbows, knees, leg kicks. Oh, another elbow to that damaged eye. Downward elbow. That's oh! Cedric, he got some good shots on Tarek. He's not finished, boys. He's not finished. If he's good enough to be in the final, he's good enough to fight the final, Stan. <laughs> I might just back out 10 metres here because there's a little <laughs> bit too much heat happening in the commentary position. Well, Stan, well, I'm not going for one guy or the other, but I've got to give credit where it's due, and I think Cedric having enough courage to get out there oh. against a great champion like Nathan and, and trying to fight back, Senna, that's great. And let him fight with his best weapons. Elbows. Which you know. they weren't going to take it, but on the last second when you, I put the mic in his mouth. You crucified him. You know. I'll take it. <laughs> you crucified him. Let's go back to the corner and have a listen here to Nugget in the corner with Cedric Kongaka and Soren Monkons on also. Leg. Have a listen. Push kick his leg. Take his leg out on the inside. Start to throw your hands. Turn him onto the rope. 
Okay. Let's go City. Throw the push kick. Start to throw your hands. Turn him onto the ropes. It has to be the game plan here of Cedric. He cannot remain a stagnant target and allow the golden elbows of the carnival to rattle off on him. Second round. Cedric needs to time it that when Nathan Corbett throws kicks like that, he's got to land punches. That's the only time he's going to be in range to land those punches when Nathan comes in to throw kicks. Corbett comes forward. There you go. He's going to throw punches. Break, stop, stop, stop. And Zab stop Hedgecock back. breaks break, the grapple. You. If you are right locking on. on the grapple, you've got to be active. You've got to throw the knees under A1 rules. Four elbows right now. Body shot from Cedric. There's a ripping right hand. Break, stop, Just didn't stop, have there. Distancing break. to throw the left Fight hook. On. You're right, Derek. Cedric's not done yet. Okay, no, 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 Crossing no, elbow, no, downward no, elbow no, from Kane. No holding the lead. No, elbows, no holding the lead. Take a no, point. Take a point off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave does like a Cedric, Cedric, point Cedric used to train with me years ago and his uncle and all that, and they come from a very tough family. That's why I, I mean by he won't just quit like that. He'll I give know. it his best shot. I know, but I don't want to see the guy end up with scars all over his face. The only thing, if that cut gets any bigger over the eye, he may be forced to quit. For well, medical reasons. Man, you know. I don't want to see any fighter get hurt more than they need to. The chance come up for Garnish. Nice shot to the liver, then a right hand to the head from Cedric Congega. Cedric fakes with the right hand, eats a jab, nice combination from Carnage. Look at the boxing prowess, there's the downward elbow. There's exactly what I was hoping we didn't want to see, you know what I mean? Break, stop, 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 stop. Swinging me to the upper left rib cage from Cedric Congeka. One and a half minutes remaining, second round of three. Carnage sitting behind the jab. Nice jab. Nice stiff jab. You know Cedric. What? He's got a loop. He's got to throw that left hook. There it goes, but again, didn't have the timing, didn't have the distance. Uncle Dave moves in. Okay, fight on. Cedric is still here. As long as he's standing, there is every chance for him to land that puncher's chance, so to speak. Uppercut elbow from Carnage. Dave Hedgecock, very, oh, it's a nasty very on top of it. It's a nasty cut on Cedric. Other corner, please, mate. It's okay, Peter Lewis takes Other a look. Corner. Wow. Cedric, all hard, but really the right decision here. We know what it is. Can you see right? Oh, yeah. All right, okay. What guts? Okay, what intestinal ready? fortitude? A cut over the eye, a ready, cut ready? under the eye. The only thing that's right not on. happening here is eyeball is still intact. Uppercut elbow from Cedric. Carnage, moving, grooving. I've never seen him shuffle with footwork like this before. His confidence is peaking. Outside thigh kick, inside thigh kick. Cedric bounces up and Dave wipes off the glass. Carnage, jab outside thigh kick. Trunk kick to the midsection. The boxing combinations are so impressive here from Nathan. Cedric comes forward, looks for the liver section with the dipping left hand. Jab, uppercut, elbow, crossing elbow, left took from Carnage. More combinations than a bank safe, and he's doing it easily. But as you said, Tarek, so long as Cedric is standing, there's still that Tongan bobbing chance. Yes, there is, and I tell you what, take nothing away from Nathan. He is looking so slick out there. He is looking so good. He's looking like a champion that's going to be. I have never seen Nathan Corbett in finer form. Stan, we've been talking all night about how impressed we are by the footwork, the combinations, and the speed of Nathan Corbett fighting at 97 kilo here tonight. Yeah, and like he's showing, he's showcasing everything he's got, showcasing all his uh, arsenal. Great with his hands, his, his feet, his footwork. He's mixing it up nicely. And you know, like you said earlier, you know, when a guy's got confidence and he's oozing confidence, you can see it in his footwork. You know, he just he's like he's glowing. He's glad. He looks graceful moving around the ring, and that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Hey, you're doing well, bro. Everything. Mate. You know, uh, I was surprised to see that uh, Paul Slowinski didn't uh, want to jump into the final fight because he had the first option. I went and asked him he didn't want to fight. Uh, he probably had a little cut on his right eye and he felt a bit uncomfortable with that. But uh, Steve McKinnon was definitely, definitely concussed and uh, they, they tried very hard to wait till the last minute, but um, the doctor just didn't clear him, mate. That's fair enough too, mate. Fighters' uh, safety is the number one priority. Here we go, third and final round, and Carnage again comes out jabbing, but the aggressive meter may be raised of Cedric. It is now all for Cedric Kungaika in the biggest three minutes of his fight. Oh, oh, 
Eats another elbow from Carnage. Carnage is measuring him. Cedric lets fly again, and the crowd now swing to Cedric's favour. Go, Cedric. Dig in there. They want the underdog to come through. Make a fight out of it. Look at this professional. We're looking at professional in action right now. Nathan Corbett, the carnage. A wrecking machine. Another elbow to that orbital bone. Kongaika blinks heavily. Body shot rips it in. Carnage. Chin jut, looking through his brow. His boxing work, the best we've ever seen. His speed, the fastest we've ever seen. Nice crossing elbow, almost took his ear off. Uppercut, crossing elbow again. Cedric, a little flat footed, he's got to keep moving. Can Carnage finish? He's got one minute 40 remaining. Inside thigh kick to the back leg. Cedric's got to throw the bombs. Mm. He's got to pull the trigger here. He's got another cuts then. He's yeah, got another on top cut. of the head, yeah. All cuts for the butcher shop. Oh! oh, that's what I didn't want to see. The bloodied up face of Cedric tells the story. Yeah. Look at that, that's a nasty cut on the forehead on the side there. You can only hope here, if you're a Cedric fan, that maybe Carnage drops his guard just once for Cedric to power through. Though it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Body shot up a cut elbow from the Carnage. Cedric fires a left hook, but it's not connecting. And Carnage on the balls of his feet. Too fast, too evasive. Uh, tremendous courage here, Cedric. I've never seen a fighter dig in so deep and, and resign to the fact that he will not quit. I mean, he, there's no way he'll quit this kid. And he's taking a lot of shots right now, Michael. You are seeing the most impressive heavyweight specimen we've seen since probably the days of Stan the Man. And his name is Nathan Corbett. You know, we are looking at a, at a Tongan warrior here. Look at him, bleeding profusely. Look at that, Nathan. Nathan, to Nathan, him. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan said, mate, I don't want us to fight anymore. You're bleeding bad. And that's another characteristic about uh, Nathan Corbett that I love as well. You know, he's a humane sort of guy. He doesn't want to hurt anyone more than he has to. And you've got a fighter like uh, Cedric saying, hey, I'm a warrior, I don't quit. Has Cedric got one big bomb left? He is going to survive the night without having gotten knocked out. Yes, it is a personal victory. Well done, Gaika. It is a victory for Nathan Corbett. Can I a winner? Can I represent you from Altitude, please? Carly? My word, I Nathan Altitude Corbett, the world, just when you thought he could belt, not get any better, winner. just when you thought he could not get any faster, Cedric. he comes out tonight with the best shape and the best form we have ever seen from the most dominant fighter of his generation. Cedric is receiving a standing ovation here from Stan, who is applauding loudly the heart, the resilience on Cedric. I think he sustained five cuts on his face, on his head. Corbett looked at him after he cut him the last time and said, son, just stop, just, just stop. And Cedric said, no. Fighters in the middle, please. You've got to have a sledgehammer wrapped in barbed wire and set on fire to stop a Tongan like Cedric Kongega. While we do wonder what may have been had Slowinski fronted up or Steve McKinnon, Cedric Kongega showed enormous heart. Nathan Corbett on the final. He fought him with his own rules of elbows. Big respect for him. Our winner. Tonight, Judge Norman Liu 3027, Judge Bryce, Bryce Burwis of 3026, Judge Mark Corey 3026, and it comes out from the The blue corner, Nathan Corbett. Nathan Corbett is the last man standing. The new heavyweight champion of the world. Belt being presented from, by Kylie from Ultra Tune, our main sponsor. And to wrap it up. Our beautiful Charlotte. How about that? Nathan Corbett with a strap around the waist. Yet another to add to his impressive mantle. But this